Hi folks and welcome back to my YouTube channel Old Rusty part number 15 and yes I know it's been a while since I produced another movie on Old Rusty but that's because Old Rusty has two sides it has a bad and a good side no I'm just kidding it only has bad sides but it has a left and a right hand side and I did a lot of work and videos on the left hand side and I also had to, of course, fix the right-hand side. And if I would have taped all that, it would have been a duplication of all the videos we've made so far. So I didn't want to bother you with that. So that's why it took me about three weeks uh, of not producing any old Rusty videos. But anyhow, rest assured, more videos are coming. There is no doubt about that. And I'm not giving up on old Rusty because it is my buddy. We are back and now we're going to continue working on Old Rusty and we will be working on the door hinges. Let me show you real quick what we're going to do and then we'll start working. We will be fixing the uh, pockets uh, where the hinges are going into uh, because they're in a pretty bad shape. So we need to cut out some metal and I'll talk about this in a few minutes and you'll see how we're going to do this. Uh, we also will have to fix the hinges themselves because when I removed the bolts I damaged the thread so we need to fix that and I want to make the hinges adjustable like so in or out or up or down and on the door itself we also have to remove the hinges and you can see this is going to be a bit of a tedious job it is not in such a good state and the top hinges on the door, those are even worse because that's even uh, rusted away. So we'll have to fix this as well. So there's a little bit of work to be done just alone on the hinges. So let's start going on it. So we got real lucky by removing uh, this part. It doesn't always work like this, so I'm happy. So now let's do the next one. We were real lucky with the bottom part. We were able to get bolts out with heating them up, but the top part, I tried the same thing and I can't get them out. So now I will have to drill them out. I don't have a reverse bit, so I'm gonna use a normal bit, drill a hole in it, and then try to get the top off uh, because I've seen the bolts are a bit concave so maybe I can get them drilled out that way without damaging too much of the thread underneath. Drilling it out is always a bit hard if especially uh, with a, a slotted screw or bolt and you know the bit is jumping around so I'm going to try to uh, level it up a bit. I've cut away the groove in the, the bolts so it's easier to uh, actually center my uh, drill and then start drilling the hole. So the point is drilling first with a small bit to have a center point and then using a real big one to take away the top of the screw actually. All right, now I'm going to get a bigger one. So that's it guys, uh, we still have to drill those holes out, but that's easier on um, a column drill. So the point is really, if you have to drill out uh, bolts that are broken off or whatever, um, don't use a bit which is too big because you're going to damage the thread. And grind it off first and then make sure it's a flat surface, use a center punch to mark the center of that bolt and then use a bit which is a bit smaller and then gently drill it out.
So, uh, that worked. In fact, you can see that while I was drilling, <laughs> the screw actually came out, which is quite good. Um, so now um, we need to remove the remains of that, but that's easy. Uh, you can use suppliers or a reverse tap for that. So we've got the uh, holes drilled in the hinge. So now uh, I'm going to put it in the vise and I'm going to use a reverse tap uh, to take out the remains of those bolts or screws or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Now this is a reverse tap. Uh, in fact, it's just counterclockwise thread, uh, especially for this kind of purpose. This has been used a little bit already, but let's see if we're going to get them out and then um, if not, we might have to drill it a bit more. No, it's coming already. So that's good. So that's number one. So with the holes drilled out, now we need to clean up the thread. And um, that's what I'm going to use. Uh, I don't know what you call this, but something to pull new thread with. And uh, I already checked the size, so you also have to make sure it's the right size. Uh, and now we're just going to uh, put some WD-40 on it, because that always helps. And if this was not falling out of it, it would be good. So let me put it back in, and uh, we can start going. Guys, this is not a very expensive piece of kit I have here. I got this very cheap, and it feels like it. But it works. So let's start turning it. So there we go. That feels good. So we've got proper tread on this one. All right, now we do the other one. That's going to be a little bit more tough. And it's going to be a little bit tough in the beginning to get it in. But once you got it going, uh, it will pull itself in it. And you got to make sure you put it in straight. There we go. All right, guys, so far we took the hinges off. That was a little bit of work. We re-drilled the holes. We put new tread on or we cleaned up the tread of the hinges. So now it's time to actually uh, start fixing the pockets uh, where the hinges are going into. So let's do that now. So the next thing we're going to do is actually fix this whole area. And as you can see, it's two layers of metal. There's the outer piece of metal, and there's below that, there's a second layer. So we have to peel that off, like peeling off skin. I almost feel like a surgeon. Uh, so um, otherwise I can't weld, because I have to weld back in two pieces. And once we've done that part, uh, then I will start putting in the, the hinges. And um, the hinges, when they go in, I want to make sure that I can adjust them uh, in a sense that I can get them more out or in or more up or down. So I actually I can move the door up, move the door down, move the door in or out and actually uh, tilt the door like this as well. And I hope that on the door uh, itself when the part of the hinge that is going to the door, which is this part, um, I will have some play as well because I'm going to make it as such that actually the bolts that are going into the holes are smaller than the actual holes in the metal plate. So then that allows you to have a few millimeters of play. So that should be uh, an easy way of uh, fixing all this. All right, so uh, let me start marking this and then uh, we'll start cutting it off skin by skin. I think uh, I will start cutting it off over here. And we'll cut it over there and we'll have to drill out a spot weld I think there is only one spot weld left but we'll see and then um, I probably will cut it along I'm not sure I think I will probably cut it along the edge like this and weld it over here cut it like this and like that and then I'll see what I do with this part. I may just weld it up uh, and see how bad or how good it is. So um, let's start doing that. I'm going to use uh, what we call a Dremel uh, to cut this. This is a very small disc uh, and easy cutting. So let's uh, start.
Because I only want to cut through the first skin. I don't want to cut through the second layer. Let me get my screwdriver and start peeling it off. I think this is the only place where we still have a spot well. There you go. So I need to drill out that spot well. Let's see if it comes off now. There we go. Okay. So now we can see the inner uh, panel, how good or bad it is. And I, it's full of rust, huh? that's pretty bad. Uh, so let's clean it up. Well, overall the state of this isn't too bad either. I don't know if I need to weld in a new piece or not. I, I don't know. It doesn't look like it. So I'm not going to weld in a new piece in the back, but I will weld in this new piece. Uh, this still looks quite all right. Um, I just will have to hammer it in place a little bit. This is all very thin metal, so I'm going to try to be able uh, to weld it up. So, so this part uh, I'm not going to throw away. Uh, this is something I'm going to use for my uh, model so I can actually put a new piece in. All right, so uh, let me start cutting this piece of metal and then we clean this up a little bit more and then we can start welding. I've built this little metal plate. Uh, it's just a flat piece of metal and I drilled the holes in it for the screws, but I made them a little bit bigger so that will allow me to move the hinge, you know, back and forth a bit. See, now I have play up and down and left and right. So now I can adjust the gaps on the door a lot better uh, than before. So I'm gonna start welding this in place now and um, that will then be finished. Um, the red stuff, those are magnets. It's very handy stuff to keep a sheet metal in place uh, for welding. So let's uh, start welding. After I welded it, I cleaned it up and it's just some sanding. So we still need to put some uh, lead onto it, but it looks quite good. And I can now fit the hinge and I have the play left and right. So that's exactly what I wanted to get. So uh, I can now move the door up, down a bit, you know, in all kinds of directions. So that's exactly what I wanted. So now I need to do the bottom pocket. So the bottom part isn't much better uh, than the top part, but uh, we'll cut it. We'll cut it along this line and we're going to cut it along this line. Uh, let me just go down here. And that should be good enough. Then we weld up this part because that's now kind of a bit separated. And then we'll do the door. So the door is pretty much rusted over here. This is a real bad spot. So we'll have to cut this out. So I think, uh, let's see. 
I probably cut something like this out. Uh, I don't think I need to take this one with me, uh, but I might. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put a patch in like this. That's the easiest way. So um, let me cut it out, the old metal, and then uh, we put a new patch up. I think this is clean enough, so uh, let's make a patch for this and weld it in. So I've created a little plate, um, and you've seen me cutting metal plates before, you just need to match it a bit. I drilled out the holes, so now we should be able to weld it in, and uh, hopefully uh, it will fit. So let's see if we can get it to fit. Yeah, that looks good. I might have to push it a bit that way. Too much. Okay. I know screwdrivers are not made for this, but this is an old one and uh, I use it for all this kind of work. So this looks quite good. So now we can actually weld this guy in. This is not a very clean weld and it's, it's pretty hard welding on this old material but uh, I'm going to clean it up and see if we have to go over it again. So I think this looks quite good. Yeah, I can leave it like this. All right, so uh, I still have to weld the edge. So this is how it used to be, how crappy, and this is how it is now. So folks, we're coming to the end of the video. Uh, we fixed the uh, pockets for the hinges. As you can see, now we can move them nicely. We did the bottom part and we also fixed the door. You know, the door we had to patch in some metal and that's what we've done. So we cut out all this old metal. Yeah, and uh, we can throw that away. I don't need it anymore. And uh, it might have been not that exciting this video, but that's the kind of work you have to do in old cars. It's a lot of patchwork sometimes and it's not always very interesting. It's all preparation work. Uh, next uh, we will start building the sills actually. Now that will be more interesting because then I will mount the door, line out the door and I will start the bottom sill. Now that's going to be a bit more complicated and probably more interesting. One thing I forgot to mention to you while I was working and I just thought about it. Um, if you're having a steel brush on your drill then typically it turns clockwise and after a while the hairs on the brush are kind of bent in one direction. The good thing is if you can reverse your drill then it's going to turn backwards and then you can use the brush again. In the, in the beginning it's going to bite very hard but it straightens up the hairs again and that works pretty well. Try it out, it's really worthwhile doing it. I keep doing it all the time when I'm kind of cleaning up areas. Um, 
So let me show you. Uh, now it's uh, set reverse. See how it bites? That bites real well. Now I'm going to put it forward again. And you'll see. See the difference? How poor it bites? That's what you can do with your drill. With your drill. That's what you can do with your drill. Put it in reverse, make sure that it's locked in, and then use it for a while, and then reverse the direction. And then you will have always a good bite of your steel brush. All right, so I'll see you guys next time. And I'm again, sorry that you had to wait so long on this episode, but I have honeydews as well. Bye-bye.